Hello there everyone and welcome to Oxygen. Now you've probably seen me put out a first look episode on this and I have decided to do a playthrough on this game and in this little mini series we are going to be doing a brand new map and starting a brand new colony from the first video that I did. So sit back relax and enjoy this gameplay of Oxygen. Let's crack on. Do you know how likely a nuclear war was to happen in 2022? I wasn't even born. But I've heard from my grandpa that it almost happened. A horrific scenario where nuclear weapons cause radioactive fallout, collapsing our civilization and making the Earth uninhabitable. But it never happened. Because a natural disaster hit us. Have you ever heard about large igneous prophecies? These are volcanoes that don't explode. But huge cracks open in the earth crust and lava just start bubbling out, oozing across the landscape and releasing tons of toxic gases. The most dangerous thing about an igneous province is that it can keep up the oozing for centuries. With the wind effect, these toxic gases spread all over the world and change the atmospheric composition. One of these magmatic gases reduce the oxygen level in the air. Sadly, there's only little oxygen left in the world. Before it's too late for humanity, the oxygen center is invented. It generates oxygen by electrolysis of underground water, and the required electricity is generated by using coal. But you should be slowly moving away from coal towards sustainable sources of energy. This is the only hope for us. You should immediately find and warmly welcome everyone who survive around the globe. Now it's your time, but don't worry. I'll be your guide along your journey. Okay, so welcome back to Oxygen. Now we're on a different map. Let's see what, what we've got. Got some stone deposit there. That's fine. We've got coal there. We've got metal. You always have... Oh, it's got two metal deposits. Oh, pretty close. Well, these deposits are pretty close to us. That's pretty uh, good. On the other map, they were dead far out. Okay. We have got it on pause. We've got our river here to put in our submarine. And we've got the coastline there. Right, so let's get the very, very, very basics up and running. Right, what have we got there? We've got the storage facility there. Um, so we'll build a house there. Uh, spin you around and build a house there. One there, and one there. We need four houses to start with. Uh, secondly, we are going to need food and water, so a fishing dock is vital. And we should have a fishing dock here. I don't want it on the river, because this will dry up when you get the droughts. Uh, where's our main city? It's up here. It is pretty far, this one. Uh, so we'll put in a fishing dock just there for now to get started. And thirdly, we need a canteen. We should build. I can't get rid of this, fortunately. We'll get two people on scavenging the metal parts. And we'll build a canteen. Just like in the middle. We'll build a canteen there. Uh, water purifier. I think we can... Build one there, one there, and we can build another one there when we need to. And what else do we need? I think that's it. A that research centre and a submarine dock. We definitely need the submarine dock. I think we'll just build it out of the way. Yeah, we'll build it here. And we need research centres. Where's the centre of this? There. So we'll build a research centre. There, right, let's unpause the game and let's get everyone 
started, we've got a task. Basics of food, water. You can easily get that. So everyone is nicely upgrading. Um, we need to get the research basically up and running. So I'm going to have two more researchers. Okay, so these trees here, which we've got our people in, what they do is they produce oxygen once they have completed. Once it's 100%, it'll make a dome, and then that dome will be free oxygen for everyone. And also, you can build houses in there. Any house or production facility that uses resources to use energy, shall I say, then that will not use any energy, so it'll be all free of charge for us. And we need some workforce in the fishing dock, just there. Right, we've got a new task there. So it says we need to create electricity from a crack, and to get the crack, we need to get some research points first. The cracks are these. Unfortunately, we can't build on that because it's blown up. For example, we can build on this. It's got 1.1 days. If we build on there and it blows up, once we get the building materials on and there's people around it, it'll just kill our people. Once the building has completed, then it'll last for 15 days and it'll give us free energy. Right, so the canteen is there. And drop down there. We've got three people spare, so we'll put a workforce person in the canteen there. We're getting the fishing dock up and running. So the submarine, that's how you get people in for now. Uh, eventually we do get like a signal tower and we can go on scavenger hunts and then if we find any people in the area we can bring them back everyone we've missed two cracks so far right near us unfortunately and what do we need let's get the materials down we've got 25 research points so we can get the gas extractor there we go well, that one's blown up there and you see here this is going to blow up eventually We'll wait for it. If he's too close, he'll die, but he should be wins. fine. Boom. There we go. Oh, he nearly got him. Okay, so there's a brand new crack opened up here. So if we go on our energy and put the gas extractor there. Uh, we don't have no people as of yet, so we'll take them all to the technology. So we've got five workers and they can get this gas extractor. Right, buildings. We can build some decorations. So we've got this star. Now, put the star there if I want. That's going to satisfy the needs of people. So we need some plastic. So if we hover over one of these, we're going to get some plastic. So I'll grab you. How much plastic does it need? 30. How much do we have? We have five. So currently this tree is on 65%. So every water, it goes up by 1%. Just got a new crack as well, right next to that one what blew up, so we shall grab that. Put you there. Take two people off scavenging so they can start building this. We still need plastic. Right, prioritise you. Right, that plastic is getting delivered. Got a new task. Build a submarine dock. We shall get the submarine dock. No problem. How many more do we need? 50. We need 10 more bits of plastic. Okay. That might not work. Come on, we're pushing the limits here, guys. Take you out of the water. Grab the plastic. Right, we've got the plastics. Everyone just build this before it goes kaboom. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. If this goes bang, everyone's going to die here. Might be fine. Yeah, done it. Right. Thank God for that. So, put someone in the canteen. And what's this? Gas extractor is literally on our doorstep. That's not good. Come on, build this because this might go bang. It's in a danger zone. <laughs> Oh well. Yes, we got it. We got it. Right, add in three more of them for the research. And we've got two people spare, so we'll put in that there. Um, resource. We're going to need, three people are going to be joining. 
So let's build another container house. Can't really put one there. Build one there. But plastic wise is fine. Metal planks is fine. How much plastic's in here? 75. There we go. We've got three people who've just come off our submarine. There they are. They're going to build their own house. Thank you for building the house. Up here we have the wind season. So we do need some energy. And to get energy, we need coal. Where's all our coal? Some coal in here. That grabbing you. We are running low on water. So we'll have another person in the water to speed it up. Okay, we've got a new task. So basically it's just saying decoration. And we've already got the star there. And we need to produce or gather some metal. Not metal planks, just metal. There's a metal deposit, but we need a building on that. So in 2.8 days, we're going to have three more people joining. So we're going to need another house. Right, there's a new crack. Beard? Where is it? There it is. Have you? Take all the people out of scavenging for now, and they can build this. We're going to need some gears. So if we go on the overlay, we can check to see where all the gears are. So we can go and grab them all over there. Let's start getting the research centre up and running. Did I take anyone off this? No. 73%. When the tree vitality reaches 80, it generates a tree dome and acts as a natural oxygen centre. Nice. And it's raining as well. Okay, so let's see what we've got. We've got three workers, which are not doing anything at the moment. Research, why? Oh, we need, yeah, we need, we need some food. <laughs> we desperately need some food. Take everyone off scavenging. Oh, we need some metal, don't we? That's why. Um, put three people in there. 125 bits of research. The next one I think we should get is we can get a coal mine and then that's going to give us unlimited coal. That's only 50. We can have that. So we've got the coal mine there. And if we go on to resources and coal mine, start grabbing this resource here so we don't run out of coal. So it needs 45 metals and 25 stone. I think we might need another fishery, but what we can do is search for ruins for canned food. Here. We take them all out of the fishing dock, grab all this canned food, and that's going to be a lot quicker for now. Okay, so we just completed the task there. We got some plastic, gears, and metal. But everyone is actually getting the canned fish at the moment. Yeah, we've got no one else anywhere. We click on the map, it should tell us where people are going. Oh, they've got someone in here. Who's in here? Oh, metal. I want you then. <laughs> Put used to in there. In the fishing dock. Oh, what the hell's happened to our food supply? It's totally drained. I think we should actually build a fishing dock again. We'll take you and put you there. Like that. This is nearly done. It is 78% done. All mine is complete. There we go. There's a little mine there. We've got no people living anywhere. Why? Ah, have we just got some people? Ah, we just got some more people from the submarine. Okay, build that then. We're going to need a medical office. We shall put it there. And to build that, we need some metal. We need 20 bits of metal. And is that one there? No, that's a plank. Should be some of that. There we go, metal. Four bits of metal there. And put in the fishing dock. We've got a new task. Let's get ready for the winds. And we got a new crack opening up, which is where? Right near our research hub. <laughs> Not ideal. Is this tree done yet? It's on 79%. A new task. Let's build some gas extractors to generate and store more energy. It says we need some gears. Is this getting built? Come on. Right, gears, it's the same, we need some gears. We'll bang some gears in there. Take the metal off there. 
max the gears out. We've got two people left. We need some water. Just there. And there's our little tree. Look. <laughs> there's our little tree. So this is going to give us free oxygen. We've got another gas extractor just there. Once I've built this, I shall put them back in the research center. There we go. Hurry up and build this before you blow up. You. Right, research center. There we go. Oh, there's another one just being built there as well. <laughs> oh, God. Gears and plastic. I don't think we're going to have enough gears. I've oh, got 30 gears and we've got enough plastic. Start building this. Yes, we got it. Right. Food production. Everyone is maxed out in the fishery, aren't they? Right, let's go and grab canned food while we can. A ah, good start so far. Not 0.4 days before the wind actually comes. Four people are going to be joining us in two days. And before this wind actually comes upon us, I'm going to leave this episode here. So if you like this one, please hit the sub button and leave a like and comment as well. If you've got any tips and tricks on this game, because it is just brand new and I've, I haven't really played it that much, probably about four hours in total, just to see what it's like, then just leave it below in the comment section. And on that note, thank you for watching and I shall see you in the next one.